Hello, this is Tofu and Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And then just a quick tip, I'm going to show you how to get uh, really nice looking rope simulations in Blender by using the add-on called Gravity Rope Add-on. Uh, it's an add-on you have to pay for. Um, it's got two uh, actually payment options. One is for Indie, which is around like $20. The other one is for Studios, which is like $65. That's uh, kind of high, but that's the price point that the uh, developer put it at. And I'll leave a link of it uh, below this video. It can be used for Blender 2.8 up to 4.0. I'm using 2.1 myself. Uh, but from the link that I'll leave below this video, you can download yourselves and check it out. And installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, Install. And navigate to where you've downloaded onto your system, then click on install add-on. And once you've done that, let me, let me type in the word rope, put a check in the box, and it's been activated. Now we're going to delete this cube here, delete, and it's going to show up on the in the tool panel on the right hand side of the UI, which is the unit interface of Blender. It's got all these options here, but I'm just going to just showcase some interesting features that it does have. So to get started from a clean slate, all you would do is have to press this uh, plus sign and it adds this little gizmo here. I think it's like an empty where the rope connects to. And before you actually do any kind of simulations, what you need to do to save any kind of uh, space in your system is create a folder. Because what it does is as it simulates uh, the rope movement, it stores it in a file. And if you don't uh, pretty much create a file yourself, it's just going to start on your computer and sometimes it'll kind of build up. So just click on this folder there. I've already created a temporary folder in Blender, which is right here. You'd have to kind of delete that because sometimes it'll say, hey, there's no temp folder location found in your folder. So just, if it says that, delete the word temp. Because uh, I've already created this folder myself. I just went to my D drive, created a Blender cache folder, or cache, cache, I don't know how, this, how people pronounce it. Let me scroll down to that. Uh, let me see, Blender cache, cache, whatever. And then click on temporary, which is also what I created, and click on accept, accept, and there you go. And then once you've done that, just press simulate, and it gives you this rope here to work with. Now, when uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's just this version of the add-on, but every time I press that to stop the simulation, it just restarts it, which I don't know. But to stop the simulation, just press Escape on your keyboard, and that fixes that. So we know how to get a rope into our scene. Uh, but some functions of it are pretty interesting. If you want to add a chain of ropes, all you have to do is keep pressing the plus sign. Plus again, it'll add another... Um, Another little empty there. Let's press on our move gizmo to move that one. Move it down. Plus again. Click on that last one and move it down also. And it should just simulate several strings of rope here. Let's press simulate. Or just one long rope, which is kind of strange. Let's press escape out of that. I mean, whatever. It should be adding those chains. Oh, it's to the, the right. Sorry about that. Not to the left. It's to the right. And it should have another one because we pressed it twice. Let me pull that down. Okay, there we go. And press play. And now it's got all these ropes here. Now you can see that it's generated from adding the, clicking on the plus icon to add more rope sections in your scene, which is pretty cool. So if you want to have like a bridge or a chandelier hanging with ropes on it or some kind of, I don't know, ship with several ropes hanging from it, just press on the plus icon and the part of the chain that's uh, highlighted with, in orange is the part where it's adding the chains. So that's uh, that's not bad. But let's start a new scene so we don't have to kind of deal with any kind of issues with any malfunctions. So I want to showcase some other features of the add-on again. So file, new, general, don't save. I know it's kind of tedious for some people. They're, they're like, why do you keep adding or starting scenes over? Well, it's just for the sake of sometimes with these add-ons, they tend to crash sometimes if you have different things happening from the same user interface. So just for safety reasons, 
new scene. We're going to delete that again. And we're going to add another uh, rope section there. And the thing with this, you still have to keep, you have to always, it's better that, um, hopefully the developer is listening, but it's good if you can just add a folder and it sticks with that folder. Because every time we start a new scene, it prompts you to have a new folder um, added to it every single time that you've just created, which is it's a, little bit, a little annoying. But uh, let's go back to that again and just click on our temp again. Delete that and accept. Okay, there we go. Back to our external folder. Now I'm going to press simulate again. It gives us that and press escape. Now the feature I want to showcase now is the pendulum feature. So I'm going to go into the front view by pressing one of my keyboard. I'm going to left click on that part of the rope there, that uh, empty, I'm going to call it. Click on my move gizmo, left click and drag on the X axis to stretch it out. And I'm going to, uh, it's not stretching, the rope's not stretching with the empty because it's not simulated yet. But I'm going to add an object to it. You can add any object, any model you want to, it's just going to still work the same and press shift A on my keyboard and I'm going to add Suzanne to the mix I'm going to pull her up I have to pull her up, let me just pull her to the side to get her out of the way a little bit and I don't think we have to smooth her out or anything like that but we're going to click on Suzanne, you have to do this in order so click on Suzanne, hold down shift and click on that uh, empty there and we're going to click on pendulum and we're going to press the plus sign and it adds Suzanne to uh, the simulation and the way we're going to see Suzanne do something on the simulation is just press simulate and she's attached to it now if we press escape again let's say you want to move her down a little bit just click on Suzanne again then we have these options for position and weight obviously position is where she's going to be positioned on the rope and the weight is how heavy or light she's going to be to affect the rope so we want to move her to the middle so I'm just going to left click and drag or right drag to the right actually and then she's in the middle, press simulate again, and now she's in the middle. And she's bobbing up and down. You can add as many models as you want with the same process. You can add squares or circles or flags, whatever you want to add to this rope. It's uh, up to your own discretion. But that's the pendulum feature. And as I said before, you can adjust her weight and so on and so forth. The other uh, feature that I want to showcase is the rope tear which is kind of interesting and the note again with Suzanne or any model you add to uh, the rope simulation it creates keyframes for your model which is kind of helpful but once again let's start a new scene file new general don't save that and we're going to keep our cube this time let's press one on our keyboard left click and drag the cube up then press a to deselect the cube. I'm going to go back to our rope uh, gizmo here. Rope simulation pressed on the plus sign. And we're going to left click on that empty there and left click and drag it across. You can make the length of the rope shorter or smaller with this option here. But we want to cause the rope to break from this cube hitting it. So we're going to click on our cube. And I wish this feature was actually in, uh, implemented into the add-on itself as opposed to having to go to the usual usual, usual blender um, options here to actually add a, a collision to our object. But let's click on this icon there. This is the physics property. Click on collision and then click on rigid body. And then we're going to click on our rope and we're going to press simulates now right now nothing happens because the rope itself hasn't been activated yet so let's press escape and then once simulation is done you have these options here so press on collision and break and then press simulates and then watch what happens oh, it didn't break uh, that's a bit of a shock and press escape again that was supposed to break I don't know if the rope is too long or what it is we have collision activated, rigid body activated. We have our collision properties for the rope activated and the brick uh, activated. So press simulate again. 
Huh. I don't even know if this is, has to do with uh, maybe... Hey, it just broke. Yeah, let's pl play that again. Did it break? I thought I saw it break. Press escape. Sometimes this happens with add-ons where it just doesn't seem to work as advertised. Uh, but I just thought I just saw it break. That is just kind of strange. Let's try with Suzanne. Maybe with Suzanne it'll work. That, that is just weird. Uh, let's do a new scene file. New. General. Don't save. And let's get rid of the cube here. Shift A. Mesh. Uh, monkey. One. Uh, viewport. Personal move gizmo. Pull Suzanne up. Press A to deactivate Suzanne or unselect her. Let me say. Go to our gravity rope. Maybe it was too long. Maybe the rope was just too long. Let's 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 see if the, if we leave the rope at the same length. Maybe that'll cause the rope to break. Maybe it was just too loose. Uh, press A again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, press our plus gizmo. So we have the rope from point A to point B here. I'm gonna leave her just leave the rope just as it is and press simulate. Okay, we have a rope there. Okay, escape. And now we're going to click on Suzanne again. Go to our collision properties. Collision. Rigid body. Click on our rope here. Collision. Break. Simulates. And it still didn't do it. Uh, let me get back to you guys and just try to figure out what's going on with this uh, add-on. I'll come back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. So I've opened up another scene for Blender. And apparently, you have to kind of apply the collision and the uh, rigid body to your object first, for some reason, for it to simulate the rope break. So I'm back on my cube here, left click and drag on the Z axis. I uh, go to my physics properties, left click on that, click on collision, click on rigid body, go to my uh, add on press A to deselect the cube press on the plus sign to activate the rope simulation uh, left click on that empty of the rope and left click and drag so we can have enough room for the cube to fall through and then we're going to press on collision and breakable simulates and there you go that was quite a process but yeah this is the gravity rope add-on uh, for Blender, and it uh, works fairly well. Uh, I just have to get kind of used to the different aspects of it and do everything in sequence, and it should work, you know, without any hiccups. And that's today's Blender quick tip, a little bit longer than I would want it to be. Uh, but hopefully those of you who have watched this have gained some kind of knowledge from it, and hopefully you'll try it out yourselves. And remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.